So if you buy American chocolate, it tastes, I don't know, more tangy and bitter than European chocolate. Do you know why? Yes, milk. They use UHT, don't they, or, or dried milk or something? The chocolate factories in the United States are further from the dairy farms than in the UK, obviously, so you've got to move the milk for a bit longer. And so they have a chemical process which extends the shelf life, and it produces something called butyric acid. And that is the same stuff that you get in Parmesan cheese yes. and in vomit. So even chocolate brands that don't use that process sometimes add that acid anyway, uh, just to mimic the taste because the Americans have got used to it. So if you think it's... actually it tastes a bit sicky, it's because it's the same acid as in sick. But the American chocolate has a lot more sugar in it and it has uh, fewer cocoa. So it's 20% in the UK, 10% in American That's the uh, fact coming to the... You know when you get um, chocolate and it goes white if you leave it too when long? When you find it in the back of a drawer? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's, um, it's the, f the fat comes out of it, it rises out of it. Hershey's have a history of making chocolate with a bitter taste. In the 1930s, they developed a special bar. It was for the American military, and they wanted it to be deliberately unappealing. Why do you think they might do that? Wartime brides. <laughs> they made shit chocolate and stockings with holes in them. <laughs> in order to lure the British brides. <laughs> no, to keep them away from American soldiers. Oh, OK. <laughs> Why would they make deliberately unpleasant chocolate? Have bromide in it. No, it's meant as an emergency ration, so you don't want the soldiers going, ooh, lovely chocolate, and eating it. I was in CCF at school, and what we had that? A combined, cadet, combined forces. cadet forces. I was in that as well. Which were you? Army. I was RAF. But um, basically... Did you say that like it was better? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were like. You know that? That That's what the RAF snobbish. ones were like. Yeah, they had this thing called 24-hour <laughs> ration kit, which we had to have. We did do, like, an overnight, you know... <laughs> Manoeuvre. Yeah, in, in like Iraq or something. Ching for fame, <laughs> we did ours. <laughs> <laughs> we did our RAF Odeon. Did you? Yeah. You did it in the cinema? No, Odeon. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought you said Odeon. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. <laughs> what is the RAF? I can't do night manoeuvres in the Odeon. <laughs> <laughs> a whole different thing. <laughs> and we had those things, and they were supposed to sort of have enough calories in it to last you 24 yeah. hours, and they packed into a tiny thing, and they did exactly that. It meant you didn't want to eat the chocolate first. No, you didn't want to eat it. It's called a D-ration. It was also known as a Logan bar. It was named after the colonel who first uh, ordered their manufacturer. And so it was but high energy content, could withstand high temperatures, um, but, uh, frankly, barely any better than a boiled potato. Oh, uh, I like boiled potato. A cold boiled potato. Any temperature. Yeah. No, not one that would burn your mouth. But there it is, look, and in the, in the uh, <laughs> soldiers hated it so much. Uh, they used to call it Hitler's secret weapon <laughs> um, because it, uh, it made them ill. There's definitely been nights I would just have eaten it. It wrought havoc with their teeth and intestines. I know, but oh. even then, there's been nights where I've just been craving chocolate so badly I'd have just eaten it. Just gone for it anyway. Yeah. <laughs>